Oh, g'day, how you going? I'm just trying to get all the sand out of the cruiser here. We just got back from a trip over to Double Island Point. I reckon it's been about 15 years since Matt and I have been over there. But uh, no, we went over for uh, a friend's birthday, spent the day there, and um, it was it was a great time. Check out the video and see what you reckon. We'll keep, uh, keep washing this sand in. So this week we head to Double Island Point. Obviously Double Island Point is this top section here, but most of the locals refer to this whole section here as Double Island Point. Right, eh? we're on the road to Newson, North Shore today, heading up Tiwa Beach, Double Island Point. Just stopped off to get a couple of supplies on the way, meeting the crew up at the uh, ferry there. So we're about 10, 15 minutes out gonna be a good day it's a little bit overcast today There's a few specks of rain here and there but overall it's gonna be a great day any day out the beach is a good day except if you're uh, Anakin Skywalker and you don't like sand so see you in a bit Every good adventure comes with air coming out of somewhere. Oh yeah, a bit of pressurised air coming out of a vessel. Got a bit of a crew this, this morning. It's yeah, how good, good is it? What do you got? Five cars. One, two, three, four, five, six cars. Can't even count. The Padge, go the Padge. Boys are loving it. After we finished airing down, we just popped around the corner and straight onto the beach. It was high tide when we hit the beach, so we were driving in the soft sand for most of the morning. We 
pretty much made a beeline for the freshwater day use area as most of the team wanted to use the facilities. Working up the car wash. Whoa! What are you doing under here? I thought you were watching the episode. Oh, while you're here, Matt and I really appreciate it if you hit the like button for us. Help spreads it to other people. Right, we'll get back to the episode. I'm going to keep washing this car out. made it to fresh water where the public amenities are and parking is an absolute premium. It's so busy today. So the freshwater day use area has some toilets there and a nice big grassy area. It also has a barbecue facility there so that you can prepare your lunch but watch out for the locals. I heard he does like sausages. From here we headed back onto the beach and it was a short drive north to the Rainbow Beach side and the protected bay. It was just a normal weekend, but we were quite surprised with how many people were here. He did well. I'm like, where is he? I can't think. Oh, there he is. He's over here. And he's disappeared again. I got up to that. Finished up at Rainbow, gonna head south a little bit to the freshwater track, cut across the freshwater track, then into Rainbow Beach town to finish the day off. We might uh, call in and get an icy pole or something like that. So let's get out of here.
doesn't take much for it to get right up close. So Queensland Parks have actually said no driving in high tide, but I'd probably even say some spots, probably you know, three, four hours after low is gonna be pretty dicey. Um, so just check on local conditions, um, you know, check on local reports of people that's been up here recently just so you can get an idea of what the beach is like. Because uh, it's not very much fun driving in the soft sand, especially when you drive a Nissan Patrol, the TD42, they like to get a bit warm. So, um, yeah, just find out the info before you head up and don't drive recklessly. Just drive safe because there's uh, changing conditions all the time. So, we're about to head up Freshwater Track and then into Rainbow Beach Town. We did come across this guy and we would have stopped and pulled him out because he looked like he was bogged but we couldn't find anyone around. So the uh, freshwater track is a single lane but two way. So you just take care when you're driving on it. Um, there's lots of blind corners, um, dips and whatever. And you just don't want, just don't know what's coming around the corner. And it's only 30k speed limit. Um, there is a section there that's only 20, down to 20 k's an hour. So just, just drive safe and just be prepared to meet other vehicles coming the opposite direction. Uh, we've also had a few motorbikes on the track today. Um, they tend to go a little bit slower in the really soft stuff, but towards the Rainbow Beach end, it's pretty good. It's uh, nice and firm and hard. It's really just towards the Double Island Point end where it's soft sand. So just take it easy, drive to the conditions, and have a good time. Alright, we just finished the freshwater track, turn back on uh, the road that goes to Rainbow Beach. I'm going to call it Rainbow Beach Road. I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, probably going to air up the tyres. We're heading into Rainbow Beach, then we're going to head back down the highway home today. The tide was coming in, so uh, it's a bit, it was a bit too much um, by the time we were getting back. So we're going to do that. And... Papa! So if you're planning on camping up DI, Double Island Point, uh, you will need to go on a Queensland Parks website and grab yourself a camping permit. And you're also gonna need to get a driving permit as well. So uh, we came up just for the day, it was like $13, $14 for the day. Um, but there's different concessions. I think you can get a week and a month and a year, stuff like that. So check out Queensland Parks. Just waiting for Graham now, and then we're gonna head into Rainbow Beach and uh, get some tea. Well, there you go. That's the end of uh, that episode. Obviously, that's only a snippet of what there is to see and do uh, up there at Double Island Point. But look, I really encourage you to go and check it out for yourself. Um, if you go and stay for a long weekend or even just go for a day trip like we did, there's, uh, there's heaps of fun to be had uh, for you and the family. It is really a great spot and we're so lucky here on the Sunshine Coast uh, to have these great spots available for us to go and enjoy in our full drive with our families. If it's your first time on the channel, um, hit the subscribe button so you can see other videos like this. And we really do appreciate when you hit the like button because it lets us know that you enjoy it and it helps spread it to other people. And remember that the weeks are long, but the weekends are really short. So chase the weekend.